Since the release of Notion Home, creating a client portal system within Notion has become easier. And in this video, we are looking at how you can create such a system. And if you are an agency, this can be useful because you can have a client portal that is shareable with the client as well as with guests, while at the same time centralizing all the tasks in one single place. That is the new Notion Home for all your team members to manage them in a centralized manner and for you as well to check on the status of tasks for different clients in one single place. This while retaining different permission levels based on the access that you give to the different and client portals. To understand how to build this system, I'm going to start with a pretty simple database and show you how to build it. If you are interested in getting a template that is a comprehensive client portal that includes this logic, then you can let me know in the comments or by filling out the link in the description of this video. In here, there is a basic client database where we store all the client information. So each page is a client. For example, you can see we have dynamic boards that is client number one and it's a perfect that is client number two. In this database, there is a template. And within that template, there is a projects and tasks database that is unique for each client. That means that we are not using a centralized database in this use case, but we're using specific databases for each client. This allows for sharing access to specific projects or to specific clients without having to sharing the entire database. The downside of this approach is that we do not have a native way in Notion besides home, which you're going to see in a second, to visualize all tasks in one single place and all projects across all clients in one single place. And that was at least the main struggle before Notion Home. Whereas Notion Home partially solves this issue by centralizing all the tasks of any member in the workspace in the home that is at the top left corner. And you can also watch my video regarding Notion Home for a complete overview of how it works currently. But at the same time, the slight disadvantage that is still present is that Notion Home is not customizable much. There are widgets and those widgets are quite fixed. You can show or hide them, but you can't completely customize Notion Home as you like. So those are the trade-offs to be aware of. And when we look at the template within the client's database, you can see here that there are two databases on the page. One is called client projects. And the reason why there is this client in parentheses is because that will need to be substituted with the name of the client every time you create a new client page or portal so that the database name is unique for that client and that allows you to easily search for it through the search menu and find tasks and projects properly without getting lost into duplication of namings in your Notion workspace. And the same logic goes for tasks. There is a section for tasks where you have client to be replaced at creation and then tasks. And that's how you can see all the tasks for the client. And the first thing that you can see is that in case you have default projects or default tasks that you want to create in this scenario, because maybe every client that you create needs to have those projects. That can be an onboarding project, for example, an offboarding checklist and so on. Those can be directly created within the database in the template without the need to create buttons or automations with external tools because these databases are going to be unique for that client that you create. And that's why you can already pre-populate them with data and that data would be unique for each client that you create. And you can see in this example that I have some example projects and tasks already populated in the template, which means whenever I create a new client, this will persist within that client page. And then of course I can delete them, change them, or create new tasks and projects accordingly on the client page directly. So let's go back to the company database, which you can see right here with these two companies. It is an inline database. That's why you can see it directly on the Notion page. And when I open one company, because that template is the default one, when I create the page, the structure gets automatically applied. So I'm going to just copy this into the placeholder here to make sure that the name becomes unique. And then I can hide this information. I can also fill out this content in here. And now we have a section for projects and a section for tasks. You can see some tasks are already assigned to me. So as a user, if I go to home, I will be able to see my tasks in full screen. And I can see here there are tasks for dynamic boards that I was just looking at. I can also open the task database directly from here. And these are the tasks coming from that source, which you can see here. And there are also tasks coming from another source, as far as I can tell. And if we go back to our page, indeed, I can see that there is another client, which I haven't set up yet. So let's set this up as well to make sure that the databases are named correctly.
Now let's go back to home and I can see here I have dynamic boards tasks and pixel perfect tasks. So this allows me to see an overview of the tasks that I have assigned to me in those different client portals. I can also filter by source if I like, if I want to only focus on pixel perfect, for example, so that all the other ones are going to be hidden and I can open this and I can let me mark them as done so that they disappear from this view. I can also open the page to see more detailed information about the task and work on it. I can also move the task, as you can see here, to different tasks databases. So this allows me to move through the different client portals in a centralized manner, which is a great addition to the already present features within Notion. Now let's go back to pixel perfect photography. And let's say that this is the client portal and I want to invite a guest to this portal that is a collaborator that I have working on this project. And I want them to see only the projects and tasks within this client. So in that case, I'm going to go to the share menu and add that collaborator right here. And here I can give the person can edit, for example, I'm going to invite them. I am not going to add them to the workspace. Now I am on the other account that is me, just a test account. And you can see here I have an invitation as a guest. I can see the inbox. And as you can see, because I'm a guest, I do not have access to home because only members, paid members, have access to Notion Home currently. So as a guest, I can only see the pages shared with me on the left sidebar menu. But as you can see here, I can see all the projects for this client and I can also see all the tasks for this client only because this database is client specific. So if you are sharing a client portal with only one person, one guest, and that guest only has access to one or two projects or clients, then it may be enough to add them as guests. If you want to give your team members the ability to have Notion Home to manage all their tasks across different client accounts in one single place, then they need to be a member in your Notion workspace. And what you can do then is you can just add members on a client portal basis. So you can always use the share menu to restrict access to specific groups or give access to specific people in your workspace, whether it be members or guests. So by default, for example, you may want to only give access to specific managers or yourself to the main company database. But then when you create a new company, you can actually share access to the specific team members that are going to work on that client projects and tasks over time so that you can granularly manage access and also give the added ability for every paid team member to see all their tasks in one place directly in Notion Home, just like this. And this concludes the overview, conceptually speaking, of how you can design your Notion workspace or adapt it to manage client portals, giving access to clients, to their page only, as well as to team members and guests, while having the ability to see all the tasks in one single place, that is Notion Home. You can leave your comments down below if you have questions or if you have an interest in a template or a digital product that encompasses this concept and provides it to you with a full how-to guide to implement this client portal system and project management system within Notion and within also other tools. There's also a link in the description for you to leave interest if you think this can be valuable for you as a duplicable template. For now, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.